This updated weather briefing is for a system that will bring cold air and snow to the region beginning tonight. A strong upper low pressure system will drag Arctic air into the northern plains. As a result, temperatures will be well below average this week. Additionally, the system will bring a couple rounds of accumulating snow to the region. A winter storm warning has been issued for northern South Dakota beginning this evening and continuing through Monday afternoon. Winter weather advisories have been issued for northeastern Wyoming and much of western and central South Dakota, tonight through Monday afternoon. Precipitation will continue moving into the area from the north with rain changing over to snow tonight. Snow will continue into Monday and current forecasts indicate that 4 to 6 inches of snow will accumulate across the warning area by Monday night with locally heavier amounts possible. 1 to 4 inches is expected in areas farther south. Freezing drizzle is also possible overnight. Winds on Monday will be breezy at about 15 to 30 miles an hour with higher gusts. A secondary wave of snow will pass through portions of northeast Wyoming and the Black Hills on Tuesday, bringing another 1 to 2 inches of snow there. Several impacts are possible with this system. Snow and freezing drizzle will make travel hazardous. Be especially careful on your Monday commutes. Breezy winds may also cause some blowing and drifting snow, reducing visibility. Frigid temperatures will continue through the week with the coldest temperatures on Wednesday and Thursday mornings. Although winds won't be very strong then, temperatures this cold can easily reach windchill values of 20 to 30 below zero. This graph shows detailed information about how cold it will get this week. Note that these are forecast high temperatures. Highs will struggle to get above freezing on Monday, but the middle of the week will be the coldest. Some places may have highs only in the single digits, possibly breaking records. Towards the end of the week, temperatures will begin to rebound. For the latest information, please visit our website or listen to NOAA Weather Radio.